Hi, this is Morgan Schick, and I am about ready to start my radio show um, on the Lifestyle Talk Radio Network, and this is the YouTube accompaniment of it. So get ready. Um, I hope you can either email me or call in at 888-454-3378. Um, I'm going to be talking a lot about the basics today, um, kind of like a beauty hall basics of what, like my basic idea of what you should look like, what you should be doing, kind of the lies that um, we've heard over the years, and how I started. Um, so you'll hear the radio, and then you'll hear me, and you'll, I hope, you know, you'll get it. I'm trying to film my radio show. And here we go. Hi. Hi, everybody. This is Morgan Schick, and welcome to Beauty Rehab. What is Beauty Rehab? Beauty Rehab is a show about the 30 years I've been in the beauty industry. Um, I was a Ford model for 25 years. I had terrible skin because of all the modeling, um, the makeup for modeling. And I chose that I had to I had to find a better way because I wasn't a supermodel. So people weren't like blaming the makeup artist if my skin didn't look great. They would blame me and that was a problem. Um, so this show, um, I went from being a makeup artist to becoming a makeup artist to being the spokesperson of Laura Mercier. And then I started doing my own line of makeup. Um, I actually wrote a book at the same time, Your Makeover, Simple Ways for Any Woman to Look Her Best. And then I did um, my own line of makeup on HSN called Morgan Schick Cosmetics. Um, I did that for about 10 years. And then I kind of retired um, having kids and... Just, I guess I'm not the greatest multitasker. I wish I was, but I never stopped using my own makeup. I never stopped the passion I have for teaching women. Um, you know, like we're girlfriends, and I never stopped using my makeup. And I noticed that as I was getting older, um, my original philosophy was really tight. It was you know, stop over-processing your skin because remember, I was a, a model, so I had lots of makeup on and then I would, my mom was using, you know, alcohol to clean her skin and I thought that was okay, so I'd have these breakouts, I'd use alcohol, then I'd get dry patches and then I'd still have breakouts in the dry patches and nobody, you know, I went to dermatologists, I went to facialists, I did everything and nothing worked and I kind of had to figure it out on my own and I did. So today's show on the Lifestyle Talk, Talk Radio Network, I want you to call me at 888-454-3378, 888-454-3378 and I upload this to YouTube on Morgan Schick my YouTube channel, so feel free to subscribe and like it, um, and I will do that as soon as the radio show is over, but I really want you to call because I love getting people's um, questions about all things beauty, all things hair, makeup, skin, um, exercise. I was an aerobics instructor before I became a model. I was a spinning instructor. I... I really have had to do it all to try and keep myself together. And now that I'm 50, if I can help you, if you're 18 years old and I can help you not have the insecurities that I had as a model, as a woman growing older in a youth-obsessed, image-based society, I want to do that. And if you're 30 or 40 or 50 or 70 and you're just like, oh, I got to figure out what to do with my skin. Or if you're miserable in your own skin, if you're miserable looking in the mirror, I want you to call me and I want you to watch all of my shows and I want you to follow me on Instagram. It's Morgan Schick and I'm M-O-R-G-E-N-S-C-H-I-C-K. Morgan with an E. Um, because... I will share everything. I am. An, it's funny because 
I just started working with this company called Joyous, joyous.com. And Joyous is kind of like a curator of amazing products. And then they get experts to talk about and sell them. And I will only do it if I'm using the product and I love it. So I'm kind of tiptoeing back into my own product line, um, but I'm doing it in areas where I feel very authentic and the integrity is sound. Um, so I was doing a um, bio for Joyous, and they're like, say three things that describe you. And, you know, I asked my husband and I asked my best friend. I'm like, what do you describe? And they're like, honest, you know, authentic you know, creative, whatever, passionate, happy. And I kept coming back to this three words that describe me the most. And I thought, know it all. <laughs> and I don't mean know it all in like a mean, I'm better than you way. I mean, know it all, meaning that I want to find out everything I can find out about beauty, skin, makeup, hair, aging, vitamins, supplements, medicine, politics, the earth, everything, and then I want to share it with you. I want to share everything I've learned with you. I think that makes us better. I don't, so I don't think of know-it-all as a bad thing. I think of know-it-all as I want to be, you know, your sensei, your secret weapon, your come to me and I will share what the greatest hair curler is, the greatest serum for your face. Um, in all price points. Those are the things I want to do. So I want you to call me at 888-454-3378. And again, this is the Lifestyle Talk Radio Network. I'm very excited to be on it. Um, I really quickly wanted to go over, I don't know if you guys go online, I don't know if you looked at the Met Gala. The Metropolitan Museum of Art is in New York City, where I live now. And Every year they do kind of like their fashion Oscars. And this year, um, I'm not sure about the theme. It was like China something, but I didn't really understand it. But what I did notice was women on the red carpet wearing a ridiculous amount of makeup and looking old and looking false and... I wanted to get re right into that because I don't know who is telling someone like as a pretty girl, Sarah Jessica Parker, that she should be wearing all over foundation. So in my next segment, we're going to be breaking down the basics. And I know I have some new viewers from um, my favorite exercise routine, which I think if you've watched this before, if you follow me on Instagram already, Tracy Anderson. Um, I call her the fairy ninja in the most honorable, idolizing way because she has completely changed my body and she has a new product called Real Time Streaming and you can do her class. I did her class this morning in my living room um, and it's not, it's, it's cheaper than a monthly, uh, monthly membership. You do it at home. You buy two, two pound weights. Um, but I now, um, love that I have like this little crew. We're all like from all over the world. Um, and we all Instagram each other and it's very cool. So, um, this week, cause Tracy Anderson's, um, streaming changes every, Every week, she gives you a new workout. You do that workout for the week, and she exhausts the muscles that she's targeting. And then the next week, you get a new one. So they kind of gave ma mascots to all the different girls that do this. And this week was me, and I was very honored, although I am so not worthy. But anyway, so um, – and it was purple. And so yesterday, I did an Instagram of makeup for purple because I'm not a big fan of purple just so happened that that was the color of this week. But, um, and so today I'm doing purple. I have purple nail polish on and I have pink lips. So that is in honor of being the TA real time hashtag TA real time mascot. Um, for more information, I don't work for Tracy Anderson. So for more information you can call or you can go on tracyanderson.com. Um, click on streaming. It's really cool. Um, it's not easy. Don't think that this is like you can sit on your couch and do it. But she shows up for you, and I want you to show up for you too. Um, 
And then I want you to do your makeup and your skincare. And we're going to talk in the next segment about makeup and skincare. I'm going to break down, and we can go back to the Met, but I'm going to break down what I believe we should be doing to our skin. And I do not care. I do not work for any big, large brands that sell tinted moisturizer that sell foundation. Um, I am not a fan. I think if anyone knows me knows that I will tell you right now that majority of the problems caused in my skin was liquid foundation, which they now call tinted moisturizer or liquid, you know, a BB cream that has water in it. Anything that has water in it should only be benefiting your skin. It shouldn't have coverage in it. Anyway, so we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about my beauty, my beauty routine. Um, I know I've done it before, but we're going to do it again. So if you have calls, if you have questions, um, YouTubers, stay tuned. Um, radio, stay with me. Call 888-454-3378. 888-454-3378, Lifestyle Talk Radio Network. We are coming back, and I want you to stay on the line, and I will take your calls, I will take your questions, and we will break down the beauty basics um, of my philosophy, and we'll be right back. Stay with me. Morgan Schick, Beauty Rehab, 888-454-3378, um, Lifestyle Talk Radio Network. Call me. Call me out, even if you don't agree with me. Just call. Say it. Talk to you soon. Okay. Okay. Hi, YouTube. So I am super excited, and um, while we're on YouTube, I can get a little bit more into what I was thinking about with the Met. Um. So I was looking at pictures. I saw Sarah Jessica Parker, and Sarah Jessica Parker had so much makeup on that even in the beautiful flashlight of cameras, it was horrifying. Every line, every, and, and she's beautiful. I mean, whether you're into her look or not, um, she's a beautiful, spirited woman, and I just thought, we have to stop covering our faces full of makeup. You cannot think that because you're going to be photographed or you're going to be filmed or you're going to be this or that, that you need to wear a lot of makeup. If you don't wear any makeup, I'm so much more a fan of that than the woman who is covering her skin because your skin cannot breathe. So I'm going to talk about it when I come into the um, the next segment of my radio show, but I do want to discuss that Sarah Jessica Parker, Madonna, um, even J Lo, with that gorgeous glowing skin, it was like a mask. And I kept thinking, why is an older woman? And I mean, first of all, if even if you're 18. I don't think you should be wearing tinted moisturizer. I mean, I have teenagers. I have a 13-year-old daughter, and it is the bane of my existence. She goes on to YouTube and watches all of these girls paint themselves with BB cream. BB cream is just another name for foundation. Tinted moisturizer, just another name and marketing tool for foundation. The only thing that should be on your face that is mixed with the water is something good for you. You're going to hear me say this. You are probably, if you've already watched my videos, um, you are probably so sick of me already saying it, but only what benefits your skin should be attached to a water. Only what benefits your skin should be attached to a water. What does that mean? That means water. That means your serums, that means your vitamin A or, you know, C, um, vitamin E, antioxidants. Only things that are going to benefit your skin's future should be attached to water. Why? Because your body recognizes water as a nu nutrient, as it's a life source. So when you mix water with color, 
foundation, wax, silicone, whatever it is. Your body's drinking it and it's drinking it all in. It's not good for your skin. So then it gets in your pores. I'm listening to the radio because I want to make sure that I don't miss um, my cue for my radio show. As much as I love doing YouTube, um, and I think it's crazy if I don't do YouTube because I'm doing a beauty show and yet it's on the radio and yet I'm talking about beauty and so you kind of need to see the products I'm talking about and stuff like that. So, um, And I do have products I want to talk about. Um, just very basic, uh, not expensive um, products that I think we should be using. But, and we'll go back into this. Um, uh, let me make sure we don't have any call, two callers. Okay. Um, I just want to make sure that you understand that nothing attached to a water should go on your face. So we're going to go back to the show now, and I'm going to dive right into that because I think it's important. Hi, welcome back. I'm Morgan Schick, and this is Beauty Rehab on the Lifestyle Talk Radio Network. Excited to be here. I want you to call me at 888-454-3378, 888-454-3378. Um, this, today's show, while I always talk about beauty and um, lifestyle and rocking your best self, um, and I also do it on YouTube, so... Um, you can go to morganschick, youtube.com slash morganschick, M-O-R-G-E-N-S-C-H-I-C-K. You can uh, listen to the video radio show. So you hear the radio show, but you also see it. Um, and I think that's just the best way since I'm, a, I'm talking about beauty for you to be able to see me while I'm talking about it. But it's also cool to be able to be in your car and listen to a radio show and listen to callers and questions and stuff like that. So before the break, I was talking about um, the Met Gala and how I was seeing um, people like Sarah Jessica Parker and Madonna and even J-Lo um, with just too much makeup on. It was sinking into lines that they barely even had. And um, my number one, so I was also telling you that I have a lot of Instagram followers that ask me questions about my skin and my routine. And I think it's confusing, but I'm going to say it again because I'm never going to stop saying this. Um, we overprocess our skin to a ridiculous point. Um, I have people call me all the time or write me all the time and say, I have dry skin. I have oily skin. I need this. I need that. And I'm like, mm, I don't even know if you know what your skin is. Why do you think you have dry skin? Oh, because I've got dry patches. And I'm like, hmm, what are you using? Oh, well, I get pimples, so I use alcohol to cover or proactive or all this kind of stuff. And I'm like, all right, so you're wearing an all-over foundation um, and – you're then getting pimples and then you're stripping your face and you're using alcohol to try and get rid of the pimples, but your body is recognizing that and um, throwing you more sebum to help with the dryness of the alcohol, which is causing more pimples. So stop it. Stop foundation. Stop it right now. Use a concealer. Cover what you... I have, I have concealer on right now. I have not worn foundation in decades. You want to look good when you're 50? Stop wearing foundation. Stop stripping your skin. End of story. All right. I want to take a call. We have Barbara on the line. Hi, Barbara. It's Morgan. How are you? Hi, Hi Morgan. I'm fine. Um, I just want to ask you a quick question. Okay. Go. Shoot. Okay. Um, discoloration is in my skin. It's not real, real bad. As a matter of fact, when I put on makeup, it's, it's, everybody is always talking about how my skin is flawless. They just don't know. Let me take this makeup off and you'll see the real deal. But it's, it's discoloration. Um, um, it's not like a lot, but I can tell the difference in like my forehead and, and, and when I, I kind of have my makeup on. And, and, and I, don't, I don't always want them to wear makeup because... I 100% above and beyond a relationship, makeup is horrible for your skin. Um, okay, so you're not in a relationship right now. No. In between. Okay. 
how, how, yeah. so how does that make you feel? Okay, so you know what you're bringing to a relationship, and you, I call it our backpack. We have stuff in our backpack, and we need to be very clear that we have stuff in our backpack, and we're going to be bringing it to our relationships, and you have to also be clear that the person who you're dating or married to has stuff in their backpack, too, and then you look in the backpack, and you decide if you are you're interested or not. <laughs> Okay, so I get that. So, Irana, um, I'm very proud of you to know and to be enough and to be centered enough to know that you have to be in the right mindset to attract the best kind of person for you. Um, and I want to make sure that you are physically representing the best Barbara on the planet. So, so I want to know: Are you wearing an all-over foundation? Is it liquid? What what type of foundation are you using? Is it liquid? Is it? No, it's cream. It's cream. Okay, so you use a, a sponge and you just put it where you need it, or you put it everywhere. No, I put it all over my face. Why? I know you said you had discolorations, but are your is your face is every single inch of your face a different color? It, okay, here's what I want you to do. It doesn't look stupid. You need to leave the skin that is your ideal color alone. If you're painting your whole face because you can't get the right concealer to cover just what you need to cover, which means even out those dry that discoloration, and in a second I'm going to talk about that part too, I want you to go... Go and see the new, um, Iman has a new line um, for if you've got ethnic skin. Uh, CoverGirl has an incredible new line that they did with Queen Latifah. I use a concealer from that line. And I'm like Italian, so but I've got darker skin. I want you to go find a pigment-rich concealer that you can brush on just the parts of your face that need coverage. You're going to be half made up, and you're going to deal with less and less makeup. Now, the part I want, the part, I've, I've only got a few minutes left, but I want to talk about the discolorations. I want you every single night, Barbara, to use a alpha hydroxy night cream. It is a cream that has a exfoliating alpha hydroxy in it that is going to lighten up those discolorations. We're looking for the lightening up of. You can even use a little bit of apple cider vinegar on the areas where you've got dark patches. Do you hear me? Apple cider vinegar is an, a fruit acid that helps your cells rejuvenate on your skin. You put it a little bit on a Q-tip. Every single night, you swipe it where you've got skin discolorations. If you've got brown patches on your cheeks, if you have brown patches on your forehead, and every single night you do it, it is completely natural. It costs half a penny. And then we're gonna, you're going to only use a concealer sealer where you need it. Both of those things are going to help you. So when you go and you find the man that is worthy of Barbara, you have only a little bit of makeup on, and you're not worried about leaving it on a pillow or his shirt. I heard that. That is awesome. Okay. <laughs> and I want you to try the apple cider vinegar and call me in a couple months and let me know what happens. All right? Thank you, so much. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you for calling. Listen, everybody, stay with me. Call me at 888-454-3378. 888-454-3378. We'll be right back. This is Beauty Rehab, and I'm Morgan Schick. If you're with me on YouTube, great call. Exactly what I'm talking about. Let me put this on um, mute. 
Okay, that was so great. Okay, I'm so happy to hear from Barbara um, because she's using a cream cream makeup, which I don't have a problem with because it's not attached to a water, which means it's not sinking in. But she's using it all over. So that just gives you a mask effect. Um, and you don't have any of your skin breathing. My motto is, I don't care if only one square inch is breathing, you need to let your skin breathe. You need to let your skin not have makeup on it all the time. And if you're just using a pigment-rich concealer, which is what I use, I have concealer here, a little bit here, right here, here, and down here. Those are where I've got issues. Those are what I'm covering. I have eye makeup on. I have lipstick on. I have blush on. But makeup, anything that could sink into my skin, is only where I need it. And then because I'm using a cream that is pigment rich, meaning that it's very dense, very highly pigmented, so the, I need a tiny bit to get it lighter, to get my dark circles, to bump up my temples where I've got veins. It doesn't sink into your skin. Your skin doesn't try and throw it off. So your makeup lasts all day. You look beautiful all day. That's the point. The point is, is what I was trying to tell Barbara, and hopefully she'll watch this YouTube so she'll understand like if further a, a further explanation. If you want your skin to last decades and decades and decades and look beautiful, you have to stop over-processing it. If you're wearing a liquid foundation, a tinted moisturizer, or any color attached to a water, a color attached, if it's coming out of a bottle or a squeeze tube, there's probably water in it. If those two things are, are the reality for your situation, then you know that you have some, your skin is ingesting pollution, dirt, color, whatever, silicone, whatever. And I don't want that to happen. Because what's going to happen is you're going to, your skin's going to drink it. It's going to fill up your pores. Your pores are going to be full. They're going to stretch. Um, if you're a kid, you know, 18 to 25, your body is going to exfoliate it. Over, then, over that age, your body doesn't exfoliate as quickly as it used to. So what does that do? It means that you're, it's sitting in your pores and you're stretching them. So then all of a sudden women come and they have all these large pores. And they're like, Morgan. Why do you have small pores? And I'm like, hello, I clean my skin and I don't fill it up. Nothing attached to a water should go on your face that isn't good for it. So when you wash your face in the mornings, I'm sorry, you're not going to wash your face in the morning. With a bachelor's so, degree on average, this. you can make almost twice as much. Over you're only going to wash your face at night. You are a hundred percent going to wash your face at night. You are never going to touch your head to a pillow unless your skin is clean and you are using nighttime for you to regenerate your skin. At night is when your body repairs itself. And we'll talk about this when the radio show starts, but at night your body repairs itself. And that's why you want to have really good ingredients on your face. So an alpha hydroxy to help cell turnover, antioxidants to, to be sacrificed for the free radicals. Everything is trying to tear down your skin, tear down the cells of your body. You need to protect yourself. So every night you, you get to fix it all. Every night your body readjusts your sebum level. Every night, your body readjusts your pH. In the morning, you do not strip your skin again. Do not strip your skin in the morning. Wash your face at night. Put your serums on. Put your alpha hydroxy night cream on. 
and then you're going to go to sleep. In the morning, you're going to wake up and you're going to splash really well. And we're going to talk about this. I'm going to, sorry, you guys are hearing the same thing the radio people are going to hear, but I need you to, I need this to sink in. Hi, welcome back. This is Morgan Schick, and you are listening to Beauty Rehab. And Beauty Rehab is my radio show about being a Ford model for 25 years, a makeup artist for 25 years because modeling was destroying my skin. And um, then I became an author. I wrote my first book, Your Makeover. Simple ways for any woman to look her best, and then I did my own makeup makeup line on HSN for almost ten years, and I've always been an advocate for the truth in what we need to look beautiful. We live in an image based society. I don't care if you are looking for a new job, a new mate. I don't care if you're just looking in your own mirror. I want you to be excited about the image you see staring back at you. And if you are not excited about it, you need to fix it. I'm not saying you need to look like a Kardashian. I am not saying you need to look like a supermodel. Goodness knows I do not look like a supermodel. I was never a supermodel, which is why no one cared about my skin as it was getting destroyed every single day on the job. Um, But me. And they thought my hair was too frizzy, so I had to figure out how to make my hair look pretty so I could get a job. It was all about the Benjamins. I was going to be whatever you needed me to be, you know, not shady, but I was going to look as good as I could possibly look. And then as I started to age, I knew what all those basic tenets that I learned as a model helping me clear my skin up and keep my skin clear was also going to help me age the best I could. So I'm 50, and I am excited about being 50. I never look in the mirror and think, oh, wow, my most beautiful day was when I was 35 or 30 or 25. I literally look in the mirror and think, wow, I am so happy that I am a compilation of 50 years of my insides, my brain, and my what I look like. And I want that for you too. So if you do not have that, I want you to call me and ask me questions. I'll share it with you. I'm a know-it-all, but I'm a know-it-all that wants to know it all and share it with you so you don't waste your time. I will save you some time, okay? And we were just in the break. I do this show on YouTube as well, so you can watch it on YouTube, so you can see me, and you can also listen to it um, on Morgan Schick, so it's youtube.com slash Morgan, M-O-R-G-E-N-S-C-H-I-C-K, so you can watch it on YouTube. We are just talking about how you really need to stop Stripping your skin, over stripping your skin, and stop wearing foundation and tinted moisturizer. That was what caused all my problems, and I am here to tell you that it will not be a good aging process if you use foundation and tinted moisturizers, okay? I don't care. I don't work for the big companies, so I can say what I want to say. Um, but I do want to take a call because I promised I would always take calls. Um, I have Maria on hold. Hi, Maria. It's Morgan. Welcome. Uh, I love you. I think you're the best. Thank you for your honesty. I just love it. I love you. You're, you're wonderful. But I'll get oh, my God. Back. Let's just talk to Maria all day. I just love you. I, 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 think you're, I just love you. You're, I think you're wonderful and sincere, and you're helping all of us. So my question to you okay. today is, uh, my eyebrows, I noticed, are getting a little sparse, and I need to fill them in, um, you know, so that I don't look like I'm losing my eyebrows. My question to you is, do... And I've tried pencil, but it looks very harsh and kind of makes me look hard looking at them, and I don't have that appearance. Would you, is there something you could suggest the way you like one of those cake powder type of um, eyebrow and fill it in with that with the blended brush? Or yep. do I mean, what is your suggestion? Okay, so Maria, how old are you? Are you my age? 54, yeah. 54, okay, so we're about, we're about the same, we're about the same, you're my sister Beth's age, which is a 
fabulous, gorgeous age. Um, and I love that you care, and I love I love that you listen, and it's awesome. Um, and I'm going to be very honest with you that part of our hormones um, as we age, we lose hair on our head. We lose it on our body. And I noticed you probably have noticed that you don't have to shave or wax as much as you used to. Um, yeah, that's the upside. Downside is you start to lose it in your head and on your brows. Um, and it grows on your chin, which is unacceptable. We understand that. It is unacceptable. Wax it. I don't care. Electrolysis, so whatever it is, but there is no hair on our chins. And we can't see it, which is even worse. It's like, oh my God, my eyesight sucks and I have chin hair. That is just not acceptable. Anyway, um, I am actually a fan of, um, and I do have very, very sparse eyebrows. My brows were shaved in, this, in the 90s for modeling, and they never grew back. Um, and, but I now have really sparse eyebrows. So I will tell you that I love a pencil, but the problem with what you're having with the pencil is that you're doing it way too dark. Almost every woman needs a blonde pencil. Every woman, except if your hair is, uh, I mean, midnight black, then you might be able to use a, a light brown one. Because, I didn't know that. right, so when I, every brunette I ever do makeup for, I introduce them to a, br a blonde pencil, and all of a sudden they're elongating their, their brows, they're filling in the sparse, but it doesn't look fake when you use it as a blonde. Now, what color is your hair? Is your hair a warmer? What color is it? it my, the color of my hair is really, I'd say, medium to dark brown. It's not jet black. It's not, and I have some highlights. Good. My eyebrows are dark brown. That's okay. That's why I was going with dark brown. No, don't brown. do that. Now, if you get your hair colored, you can ask your colorist because a lot of times while we do have sparse brows, we also have lighter brows, like some gray going in them. They can color your brows when they're coloring your hair. And you just tell them to take the brush or if they use a toothbrush or if they use a color brush to extend it because you probably have some lighter hairs there that you don't even realize. Then when you're done with the pencil, get go get yourself a blonde pencil. And don't forget, I know you've if you've seen my videos, you know I say to lift your temple and extend your brow out, not down. Don't make it droopy. Make it out. It, lift your temple. If you're going to watch my YouTube, I'm lifting my temple on YouTube right now. <laughs> and you're going to lift your pens, and then you're going to draw it out, not down, because if you draw it down the way an arch goes in the brow, it makes your eyes look droopy. So you're going to go out, but with the temple, when you release the temple, it has this beautiful slope to it that doesn't go out. It goes kind of like out, but then gently down. You're going to use the blonde, and as soon as you're done, Maria, you're going to take a little transparent powder and you're going to powder over that brow and okay. that's going to make it look thicker like a wax really okay now you can also try those new eyebrow uh there's new lash latisse lash you know the things that make your lashes thicker the yes. okay it's it's called latisse and i think um peter thomas roth has ones as well they're for your lash line, but I have heard that they work to grow eyebrows like Rogaine. And I also know women who use Rogaine on their brows to make their brows thicker. The hair. Oh my goodness. Wow. So those are the three things I want you to do. Number one, I want you to buy a, a blonde eyebrow pencil. Just make sure that you make it um, warm or cool enough. Like if your hair has like a warmth to it, you're going to want to use a blonde pencil that's got a little bit of a warmth to it. And if you your hair has a cooler brown your or your highlights are a cooler, like a beige, you're going to want it to have a little bit more neutral. You're going to, you're going to draw it, and then when you're done drawing it, you're going to add a little powder to it to set it. You can look into Latisse. And look in Lutis and look into Rogaine. 
You got a lot of options here, right? You're amazing. I, Yay! You know, nobody, I would have never thought of blonde. I mean, I just, I never I said that more. You're on the show and you have your show. Thank you. You're so welcome. Like Thank you so I, much for calling in. And I hope you call back and tell me I, how my advice yes, worked. I will. I will call you back and let you know the great results. I have no doubt. Or, I, mean, I would have never... Uh, thought of it, but you did, so thank you Yay. so much. Comment, and also, Yay. if you go on YouTube, comment on comment on the video on YouTube to let me know how it worked. If you don't want to call I back, know, you don't have to call I'll back. I'll call you back again as well. Thank, thank you. you, Barbara. Okay, thank you so much. Take care, sweetie. Um, all right, for all of you guys out there, hear what Barbara was saying. You can be 54 years old. You can feel, feel like your eyebrows are, are missing like I do. But you've got a lot of options. So we talked about Rogaine, Latisse, blonde eyebrow pencil, having your colorist color them. We got lots more. Stay with me. Beauty Rehab, 888-454-3378. I'll be right back. That was so great. Okay. First of all, I love when people call and they say, like, Sorry, I'm just falling off my chair. Um, I love when people call and they say, you know, I've listened to you before, I've watched your YouTube, and I I believe you. I believe you've got my back. Um, that is so important to me because as women, I'm not sure we always have each other's backs. Um, and that's why when I'm talking about Sarah Jessica Parker or J-Lo or Madonna, I'm not talking about them to take them down. I'm not saying, ooh, I'm not catty on them. I'm saying we get, we listen to what we think are experts. And then, you know, they paint your face and then you think that's what you're supposed to look like. And my point is I'd like to tell Sarah Jessica Parker I could have made her just as beautiful as she was on the red carpet without it being a distracting makeup. I was distracted by the thickness and how the makeup was sinking into her lines. And the girl doesn't hardly have any lines. So to see lines on her face, to see lines on JLo's face, to see obvious makeup on JLo's face or Madonna's face, um, I was mad. I was like, you know what? Someone, why do we think that just because makeup artists say we should wear makeup all over our face, we should. We should not. You do not need makeup all over your face to be gorgeous. You don't. And you not only do you not, you you blank out every feature you have. So you're not even your authentic self when you're wearing all that makeup. I believe, I invented Hide and Highlight, and I was saying in the first segment that I'm going to work with a company called Joyous, and I have told them I will absolutely um, do videos um, on their website that I have tried and that I love. Um, I will not do videos that I, I will not do products I haven't tried. I will not do products I haven't used and I don't love and believe in. So I've started out with three or four products that I really liked that I think I'm sharing with you. Um, but I don't believe that you need to make to wear makeup all over your face. So that's why I invented Hide and Highlight. And you can still probably find it on eBay. I haven't been on HSN for a few years. But... Um, that's all I use. I use one shade lighter to cover what I need to cover and where the bone structure causes shadows. And then an exact shade, which is what I was talking about with Barbara on the call earlier, just to get, just to get that, you know, uneven skin tone evened out. Um, so that's all you need. And on Joyous, I will bring back, whether I bring back it on my own and start my business again, or I go back on Joyous, I will bring back Hide and Highlight. Because it is, it is the source of my philosophy, that you need to let your skin breathe and you cannot wear all over makeup. 
and liquid makeup should never be on your skin. I know, it's a billion dollar industry. Wearing foundation is a billion dollar industry. It doesn't make it right. <laughs> and you know what? I'm sure that there are people that will still use it. I want you, people who are um, even just listening to me, to be in on what I think is the greatest secret. And um, and I'll do this a little bit when we're in the um, over um, on the radio, back on the radio for our last segment. Um, I wanted to show you what I use after I wash my face. It's called Neostrata, and this is an antioxidant serum. Oh my God, my eyes are so bad. Welcome to 50. Okay, wait. Um, Neostrata Antioxidant Defense Serum. I do not work for Neostrata. I buy this just like you would have to buy it. Um, it is neutralizes free radicals, repairs oxidative damage, and boosts antioxidants. Okay, so you're going to wash your face, and then you're going to use this product on clean skin, and then I use another product. So these are what I do. I wash my face at night. I take my makeup off. I wash my face. We're going to go back to the radio, so I'm going to start this again. Sorry. Here we go. Hi, welcome back. I'm Morgan Schick, and this is Beauty Rehab. So excited for you to be here on the Lifestyle Talk Radio Network. Super honored that I get to um, say my piece and have great discussions and answer questions from my 30 years of being in the beauty industry, um, makeup artist, model, author, and creator of my own line on HSN for about 10 years, um, but also aging woman, and we're all in that together. Um, it is the one common, de common denominator. You can be a billionaire, you can be a movie star, you could be um, you know, a model. We are all aging. And we live in a visual society, and if you are looking to look your best in the mirror every day for yourself, let alone, you know, you are looking for a new job, you are looking for a mate, whatever it is, you want to look in the mirror every day, and I never want you to yearn for what you looked like when you were 25 or 30, or I don't want you to be an 18-year-old and make any of the mistakes that I did as a model. Um, having heavy makeup ruin my skin. I mean, guess it is what turned me into the um, addict that I am today, but it doesn't make it right. So I want you to learn from my mistakes. I want you to learn from the fact that I listened to all these people that didn't really know any better, and I put all of my confidence in them, and I don't want you to do that. I want you to listen, and we've had great calls today. I've had Maria, and I had Barbara, um, awesome women who had questions, and I think that we answered a lot of them. So I want you to go on YouTube.com slash Morgan Schick, M-O-R-G-N-S-C-H-I-C-K, and um, follow me on Instagram. Go on YouTube, watch the show, um, write down the things that uh, I have suggested because I think that you will age better. You will be a more beautiful version of you. Um, I have some Instagram followers that ask questions about my routine, and I wanted to say that the biggest thing you can do is, well, there's a couple of my Ten Commandments, but one of them is to wash your face every single night, get rid of all the makeup that you have on, and then use nighttime, which is that your, body's sent, your body's time to repair itself and equalize itself, as your delivery, as the time for you to deliver the greatest products for your skin and your anti-aging. So I clean my skin every single night um, and after that on damp skin I use and again I don't work for them but I use Neostrata N-E-O-S-T-R-A-T-A Skin Active Antioxidant Defense Serum. That's the first thing I put on my face before, at, right after I wash it at night. Okay, so it boosts antioxidants, it neutralizes free radicals, and it repairs oxidative damage. I use it every single night. I actually use this in the morning too when I wake up. But this is the first thing I do when I wash my face. Okay? Then I use from the same company, Neostrata. It's called Resurface. 
Um, it enhances skin clarity and texture, and it's a high-potency uh, cream with 20 bionic AHA. So alpha hydroxy acids, and I said this to Barbara earlier, you need a night cream or a serum that is going to help your skin exfoliate itself, all right? The problem is, as we age, our skin doesn't resurface itself every night. So if you're 18 and you've got a lot of cell production, and so it's getting rid of the dead skin, getting rid of the dead skin every single night, great. But when you 20, you're 25, it drops like a rock. By the time you're my age at 50, your skin's barely regenerating itself. So you need to use something that's going to help it do that. So you can use a Retin-A, which is a fruit, a, a derivative of, of vitamin A. I it That burns the snot out of my skin. So I can't use a Retin-A. But if it works for you, try it. Um, if you get any peeling, and now this is where dermatologists, if they're listening, are not going to agree with me. If you have um, any peeling, I don't think it's a good thing for you. I don't agree. They're like, oh, it's going to be red and scaly and peeling. And I'm like, oh, well, that's my signal to say my skin hates it. I think you should be able to resurface your skin and have gorgeous skin without getting flaky, peely skin. Okay? I just think, next topic, Retin-A doesn't work for me. So I found out that alpha hydroxys do work for me. So I want you to try things. It's not going to be first time. It's going to be, you know, you're going to figure out what your routine is. Then you're going to do it. So you're going to use your antioxidant, and then you're going to use your serum with some sort of cell renewal ingredient. It could be salicylic acid. It could be beta hydroxy acid. It could be Retin A, or it could be what I use, alpha hydroxy. Again, I do not work for Neostrata, but their products work for me. Okay. In the morning, after you've slept and your skin is perfect and happy and all regulated, don't strip it again. Why? Your, sp your skin spent all night fixing itself. Leave it. Rinse it. Rinse it. Rinse it. Rinse it. Rinse it in the shower. Rinse it. If you go to the gym and you work out, rinse it. Don't, don't strip it again. Just rinse it. Rinse the sweat off. I never wash my face other than once a night. That's it. That's it. That's all you need to do. Then put on your defense serum again or your antioxidants. Whatever you're using that has some sort of antioxidants, I want you to use it. And then a regular moisturizer or a sunscreen. I prefer organic sunscreens. I think sunscreens have gotten to a level of toxicity that I do not want you putting on your face. I also think you should be eating your sunscreen. You should be eating lots of broccoli and spinach and all of these and um, yams, all of these ingredients that help your own skin repel the sun, all right? Um, we can get into that in another show, but it's a really important thing because I think sunscreens are really toxic. Um, so listen, this is all going to be on YouTube. You'll be able to listen to it again. I love that we have this time together for Beauty Rehab. I love the um, Lifestyle Talk Radio Network. I want you to call me all the time and ask me questions. I want you to watch YouTube. I want you to follow me on Instagram. Um, follow me on Twitter, Morgan Schick, at Morgan Schick, M-O-R-G-E-N-S-C-H-I-C-K. Reach out to me if you have questions, um, and because I will always help you. If I can help you look more beautiful for the rest of your life, I am completely fulfilled. I don't want you to listen to what marketing people are telling you. I don't want you to wear all that makeup. I wish I could have helped uh, Sarah Jessica Parker for the Met Gala. I think it. She's just too beautiful, and so are you. Too beautiful to be wearing so much makeup that it destroys your skin and makes you look old. Okay? I will see you next time. This is Morgan Schick with Beauty Rehab, 888-454-3378, Lifestyle Talk Radio Network. I love you guys. Mwah! Go purple. That was this week. See you next time. Thank you. Thanks a lot. See you next time. You too. Bye-bye. Hi. Okay, YouTube. Thank you so much. I had great callers, Maria, Barbara. Um, I wanted to put this one up on YouTube because I don't know if you saw it, but this is what I use every single night. 
I know I'm so not techie. Like I'm sure this should have like flown through on a separate photo, but whatever. Um, you see it. I do not work for Neostrata. I buy this. Um, it's it's a little pricey, but here's what I want you to know. You know you need like this much of it, like a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of it. Um, remember, you're going to use whatever you use first once you wash your face, the, the serum and then the alpha hydroxy, your skin's going to be damp. Don't overuse products. Just take a pea-sized amount and smooth it all over and make sure your skin is damp because it will... And then you can put your alpha hydroxy on. And then you can put whatever you want to seal it. You could put olive oil. You could put argan oil. You can put a uh, moisturizer. But your skin has to be damp. Don't go buy La Mer for $175 and then think that that thick cream is going to sink into your skin. It's not. It's not. Use serums there and attach them to moist skin so your skin drinks it up. Don't wash your face in the morning. Don't. You can rinse it. You can use a towel and rinse your face and make it feel clean, but stop being addicted to that stripped feeling. I saw two girls at the gym the other day, and they were using a toner on their face. And I was like, what are you guys doing? And they're like, oh, we're using a toner on our face. Cleans it, gets all the, I'm like, what? And they're like, oh, the dirt. And I'm like, but don't you have a cleanser? They're like, yeah, use it after the cleanser. I'm like, then wait. If you're using a toner after your cleanser, that means your cleanser doesn't work, right? And then they said, oh, and it stings. I'm like, ah! Your toner you're using after your cleanser stings your face. That's not good. Your face isn't supposed to sting. So do me a favor. Let's try and stop over-processing our skin. Try it for a week and then write me and tell me what it's like when you just don't wash your face in the morning. And 86 the toner too. No alcohol. No alcohol on that delicate skin. And don't touch your face. No itching, no er, er, no mm -mm, none of that. Keep your skin, keep your fingers away from your face. Okay? I love being with you. Um, I want you to subscribe or comment or like but try and keep it nice because I'm not here to hurt anybody's feelings and I have feelings too. Um, and then I'll see you next time. All right. And anyone who is a, from the, um, Tam, Tamily tribe, Tam tribe on Tracy Anderson. Um, I can't wait to meet all of you. I worked out this morning and it was really hard <laughs> And I'm, she's just a little fairy ninja. Can't believe how easy she makes it. Just kind of makes me mad. Um, but I love you, and thank you for letting me be the purple mascot for week 21. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's okay. Next topic. Love you. See you next time.